So once again in the garden with the MPPT charge controller and uh, we're getting about 9 watts there. The battery voltage 12.3 with a B after it. The uh, solar panel voltage is 15, 16. That's the one with the V after it. Now we're getting a bit more now. 10 watts, 11 watts. Now it's a pretty ropey day. There's my 80 watt solar panel. That's what's feeding this. Oh, actually, the sun's just kind of come out. So quickly back to the display. 13, 14, 15 watts. Now the difference here you may have noticed is that the potentiometer is on zero and what I've done is I've set it so that when it's on zero because there's nothing that can usefully be done down at that range at the end of the range I've told it to go into my new MPPT tracking algorithm it does appear to actually work sort of 16, 17, 18 volts on the panel, 15 watts. Now let's see what happens if I try and do this manually. So about 18, 19 watts, almost 20 at the moment. So I'll come off zero. Now after the word solar you can see it says M, that's manual now. So let's get this in. So there's 100% PWM, 16, 17 watts, it's brightening up a bit. And if I go down to about the sort of 70 point, I can maximize, oops, I can manually maximize at about 22 watts. So now let's put it onto auto. See the little A after the word solar. That takes a little while to kind of find its bearings. Not quite sure why. Because the algorithm's not very clever. But once it seems to get heading in the right direction, Nope, it's making mistakes now. 20 volts on the panel, 12 volts on the battery. That's not really right, is it? Right, seems to have found something. And the little wiper blade, top right, is normally a fairly good indicator that it's finding MPP. So it's hovering around the 16, 17 volts mark and 16 watts. The wiper blade is about the right place. Possibly it should be a little higher up. The sun's just come out a little bit now. But it's tracking and it's finding something around the maximum power point. The uh, solar panel voltage is around where it should be, 17 and a half volts. It's a bit crazy but it's kind of sort of working. Now the way this works is that um, before I put in the line of code that looks for a change in the solar panel power, I just built a mechanism which sweeps the PWM from one end of the range to the other. So the two red lights on the MOSFET driver were just sweeping to one end and then sweeping back to the other. So it kind of just bounced off the ends, changed direction, and it's the direction change bit which is critical here because the actual MPPT algorithm is just one line. All it says is if the power this time is less than the power last time change the direction of sweep. It's simply that, nothing more. But it was building the framework for that that took quite a bit of time. And um, as I say, that uh, just simply sweeps from one end of, to the other, unless it sees a reduction in power, in which case it uh, changes direction. So hopefully it, it then locks on to um, uh, the maximum power point and hovers around it. So it's still kind of doing something. The sun's gone now. Let's just have a look. 
it's really not the day to be doing this because, um, or maybe it is, maybe it works better in uh, low light. Perhaps it wouldn't work at all if the sun was out, I don't know. This is uh, early days for the MPPT. But I'm quite happy really because it's tracking and doing something and not sitting there up against one of the end stops. It is actually finding a point which looks sensible with the solar panel voltage higher than the battery voltage. The butt converter is obviously doing some work. So that's version sort of 0.1 of the uh, MPPT software. So it's just going to be a case of um, fine tuning it, trying to understand how the algorithm could work better. And of course the other thing this isn't doing yet is it's not monitoring the battery voltage. So once again I've got my light bulb there just making sure the battery voltage doesn't um, creep up too high. It's holding it down reasonably well, 12.3 volts there. And um, giving the butt converter something to do because of course if the battery voltage crept up to 15 volts it wouldn't, uh, it wouldn't have anything to do. Now one other thing I wanted to say is that um, I have now released the code for this. Um, actually not this version, I'll put that up now. But um, I've put the code listings, they're a total mess. I don't um, claim that they're anything beautiful, but I've put them on my website 256.co.uk so that if you do want to build this thing and uh, put the latest code into it as and when it's available or modify it and yourself and make it better, that's really what I want people to do. This is not going to become a product. I'm not intending to sell it. This is open source. Um, it's a pure experiment. And so I'd be thrilled, frankly, if um, other people wanted to build this and have a play with it and improve on it and so on. So by all means, go and get that code. Uh, have a look at it. Criticize it. <laughs> it's, certainly, uh, it's certainly not perfect. So just finally, I'm going to see if I can beat the MPPT. It's managing about 10.9, so 11, sort of around 10.5 watts at the moment. So I'm going to go into manual and I can't really beat it, but I can match it. About 10.5 watts. So machine is better than, well, not better than, but uh, human no better than machine in this instance. It needs to be a bit quicker finding its mark, really. It does take a while, but it seems to get there in the end.